Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. The leaders of Oro community said the X-Men must live on or before the expiration of seven days counting from Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. That's tomorrow. According to them, the X-Men are those evicted from various locations in Oyo State and some of them have relocated to their community without any approval or agreement. Some of them even claim that they are from Kwara State. Do not forget that some Fulanese and some people from the north um, invaded or somehow they connected themselves to Kwara State and they claim that they are now part of Kwara State. According to them, the Edsmen are those evicted and the Oro community, in a statement signed by the National President, Oro Descendants Union, and Public Publicity Secretary, Alaji Utman Balogun, and Kayode Oyeyipo, also accused the traditional rulers of both Buhari and Alala of signing settlement accord with others, but bringing them to a land belonging to Oro community. The leaders said the Earth's men currently occupying a section of Okerimi, Oro land, but the locals are not comfortable with having them around. The statement reads, It was discovered last week that Bale, traditional head of Buhari, neighboring community to Okerimi Oro, Oro, with the support of Allah of Ilala, traditional ruler, connived with Bororo slash Fulani. Bororo's Fulanis are um, like the same, purportedly signing agreement to have them settled on their land, but discreetly and deceitfully brought them to Okerimi Oro land. The signed document had with the Hala, Ahala of Ilala and Baale of Buari, the signatures of the nine leaders of Bororo, um, Fulani, Seriki Fulani in Ajashe Ipo and chairman of Mehetiala in Irekpo, the local government area. The peace pact was witnessed by some heads of security agents. Everything was without our knowledge. We are not happy to... Uh, we are not happy with this and we can't be a party to any of such arrangements. Our people are vehemently against the occupation. Um, they had long kicked against it. Now, the pertinent questions you ask are this. What right do the two community leaders have to bring Edgemen to sojourn on Okerimi Oro land? Why can't they settle them in their own land in Kosoni or La Farm in Buhari or Ilala? Their act is disheartening and disgusting. Can a house own a collect rent from anyone and direct a person to another man's house to be received as tenant after signing the tenancy agreement with him? Buari and Ilala are not part of Oro. In fact, it is a slap on our face for them to bring strangers to our land for them to come and occupy. It must be said that Okerimi Oro had been had given more than enough concession to Buari years past in settling boundary matters amicably for peace and development to try. Why are the people coming up with unwholesome moves at this time? We now implore Buhari and Ilala to come and relocate Bororo Fulani to their own land, which must be far away from our vicinity, and this must be done on or before the expiration of seven days, counting from today, uh, counting from Tuesday, February 16, 2021. Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has deployed Additional assets or your state to combat the communal clashes witnessed recently in your state. The deployment consists of four units of the police mobile force PMF, um, seizing operatives from the force intelligence of Biru, and one operational surveillance police headquarter, uh, helicopter from the police air wing. And um, with this, hopefully, we'll see what will become of all, all, all of what is um, going to happen soon. Uh, we'll see what will become of them. It's quite unfortunate um, that uh, this particular X-Men tribe have decided to continue. You know, these things are very easy. The solution to the problems in Nigeria are not complicated. They are not much. The solutions are just there. But these people will rather put in their efforts to make sure that there is no solution to it. That's just what, what it is. They fight solutions. They fight progress. It's very simple. If the desert or whatever it is, if they claim that there is desertification, if they claim that there is no water, if they claim that there is this, there is that, that it's becoming a global thing, global warming is creating this and that. Have they heard of irrigation? They've not heard of irrigation. If they're trying to create a train 
from Nigeria down to Niger. Why is that common sense not in the mind of Buhari to look at it and say, look, I and say the truth about this and say, look, my people, we need to stop these archaic practices. We need to put an end to this barbaric lifestyle. Why can't we come up with a ranch? Why can't we come up with better ways to do business? But that is not what their thoughts would be about. Rather, they want to think backwards. Now, a lot of people are telling them, why can't this H-men be relocated to Sambisa Forest? Why would you, why, why do you want to be in Ondo Forest Reserve? Why don't you go to Sambisa Forest Reserve? Why don't you go to these places? You have your own reserves. Why don't you go there and do what you do there? Come on. Terrorists took over your own forest. You come with your terrorism down to the south and you take over their forest. What if the south of Nigeria is also with terrorism like yours? I think this northerners should begin to thank the south of Nigeria for being a place, a safe place for them to come in, even though many of them are committing atrocities. I understand that certain groups of people from the north might try to relocate from the north down to the south as a result of the you know, terrorist activities that they themselves will not speak against. That's the problem. If the northerners are speaking against the evil among them, then people will kind of um, see different. Look at what happened um, there in your state. When Sunday Bo went in there, he asked, he queried, he questioned the Seriki. He asked him questions, but he was dribbling back and forth. And he, eventually they said that he's the one that goes about collecting ransom money. He's the negotiator between the kidnappers that are people that he knows. Imagine, we are talking of a contraption that pays money to the oppressor. We are talking about the oppressed in the ID, in IDP camps, internally displaced people, persons, all of them in the IDP camps. No one is giving them scholarship. No one is giving them money. How do you think these oppressors feel that, look, my brother, my uncle, my mom was raped, killed and murdered. Look at the murderer there being given money and I'm here without nothing. Do you think that person will be encouraged to be a peaceful person? person will automatically know that, look, it seems violence is the only solution to life. The excuses they give us is that these people were forced into terrorism. That is why we are saving them from this, um, whatever it is. Well, who knows? Probably they were. But according to the man that thinks he can be vice president or president, Elrofi, he said, this terrorist can never repent that there is no way you grant amnesty to a terrorist and the terrorist will repent, that a person who makes millions of naira kidnapping, banditry, stealing, and all of these things they do, that that person will not take that little money from you and stop terrorism. And I think it is true. Terrorism is not the same as someone fighting for freedom. Let's get, it, let's get these things right. Relocate them to Sambisa Forest. Locate them to Sambisa Forest. And people are making form of Saraki, being that Saraki's father is a Fulani man, the mother, a Yoruba person. Uh, well, Saraki is someone who is informed. Saraki is not like a Fulani ex man. Well, nobody's against a particular tribe. That's what people should understand. We are not talking of tribe or religion here. You can choose whatever tribe, whatever religion, I mean, choose your religion. You can be from any tribe, since nobody choose whatever tribe it is that you want to come from. But what we are saying is this. Behave like a human being. That's all. We are talking of your crime. And since that crime is now pampered and kind of encouraged, and we do not see any of you speaking against this crime, that is why it has become Aousa Fulani crime. That is why. It's not as if all Aousas are now evil people or Fulanis are evil. But since majority of you pamper, clap, when you look at comment sections, you see them encouraging this criminality, then you know that uh, it's going to be a tribal thing. It's going to be an ethnic thing. That's why people are calling them Fulani Bororo, Awusa Fulani. Awusas are indigenous to Nigeria. Who are these aliens? How did you come here? How did you get here? I think that's a question a lot of you want to ask. They subjugated these people. They overtook this person. They took over this land. This person opened the door. Look, all those things are stories. Now, enough is enough. Nobody wants to open their door to you anymore. If you don't want to live like human beings then you should relocate to where your kinds live in. It's as simple as that. And I think that is what the people in Quara said are saying. Look, we don't want you among us. Stay amongst your kinsmen. Stay among people who understand your culture, your language, your tradition, and your way of life.